Yo, what's up, people? Should God pop us up or die? Okay, listen to this. I just want to talk about this. Um, if you're, put it this way, there's people out there. You, I understand people who have role, rules and guidelines for what they want from a person or for what they want a person to respect with them. I truly understand a person having those guidelines. The, the question is, do you think that it's proper for you to just come straight out with those guidelines when you meet a person, first date and stuff like that? You know, you're just getting to know the person. Do you think that it's proper that you do that? Like, is, is, do you think that is the best thing to do? I don't think that it is. Like, you, you can't get to a date. You can but I, don't, I think that you're going to miss out on something or someone special in your life because you talking about you don't want this from the person. You don't want this from the person and this and this from the person. Okay, there's things that we must choose in order to survive and the things that we don't want from a person. And I can name a couple of them that all of us that's in our right minds wouldn't want from a person unless... I like just just for say let's the, the the person unless the person has already had money and doesn't mind if their mate doesn't have money or make money in any case then sometimes you know when it comes to that money thing you know what you expect a person to have uh we get different answers different looks the whole shit but I'm talking about the other shit the basic shit other than the money and the shit that we need to survive, we already know what those are. But once I start drawing lines on other things beyond that, and we just got in, you know, first date, that could be, you could be missing out. Because remember, you would want to make sure the woman knows how to cook. The man knows how to fix things around in his home. Those type of things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, she has smarts. Uh, all around the house like uh, she can cook she can clean she can wash clothes she can you know what I mean uh, keep things tidy and I'm not saying that like that's just a woman's duty because it's a man's duty too you know what I'm saying to be able to do that um, just as well as a man be able to you know fix some things in the house the little things they don't have to call do plumbing and stuff like that around the house uh able to make sure the cars are fixed and, and ready for riding, whatever, you know, the basic things. Make sure the front yard and the grass is cut. Now, like for Sam, I'm not saying that a woman can't do that neither. I'm just saying, you know, these things in a relationship are important to the relationship that some of these things could be counted out at times or a person just doesn't have the strategies or they haven't been taught how to do some of these things that I've named and mentioned. Now, you get on a date, whatever, you get and you start talking about what you don't like, this and that, boom, 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 boom. Male or female, the person who receives that, you might name five things that you don't like and the person who's on the other end receiving that might do one of the things that you don't like. And that person probably wouldn't say anything, but probably would be like, it knocks her or him out of the box. It knocks them out of the box. So now you done said all these five things that you don't like. And the person only had one of the things. And y'all probably could have worked on that. But by you talking about you're not going to take this or you're not going to do that. You don't want this. You don't want that. You totally like pushed away a good person who might have had qualities and four other things and y'all could make it you know what i'm saying because it's about making it you can be all in love and all that but are you making it you know what i'm saying like uh my relationship now i've learned to love the person that i'm with and vice versa vice versa but I've learned to love 
and that, that's a big thing, man. I don't care what y'all say. You have to learn to love. All this stuff that we have now, it could be love. It could be love. I'm not saying that it ain't. I'm just saying when you learn how to do it, it's a big difference. And I think women catch on faster than men. That's just my opinion because they practice it all the time. They, you know, most women do until they're hurt or, you know, until they've been hurt so many times where they begin to, you know, have a different mind state about it. But I just want to say, you know, out of the five things, the person doesn't have one. So now you missed out on a person that got four other things that was good, that might have been good for you in your life because you want to be this dude or this chick that comes in talking about what you don't want and what you're not going to tolerate and what you not, you know. How about you get with the person, learn the person, talk to the person, find out their woes. After they tell you some of the, after you get, you know, a little closer to them, y'all get to understand each other, then you might find out why this person don't like this or why this person don't want to be this way or they won't accept this or they won't accept that. And the person won't just run away because the person like, maybe I could fix myself and get the five things that the person want. You know, so you got to learn to talk with people, have friendships, uh, get to learn the person. Now, why getting to learn a person, you can learn that you can protect yourself from just running into a person and giving them your goods and boom, you don't have to do that. It might not be the person you want. You don't already gave them the goods. Now you addicted to the goods. So now you got to put up with something that you're not going to put up with. And the person might got three out of the five things that you don't like. Now you're dealing with two, trying to deal with three. And saying, fuck it, you're going to keep doing the other two. So, you know, that's, that's not going to work neither. But you're going to have to give. Now, I... I, I a lot of this, you know, I'm going to say that for the other video, but this is, that's what I wanted to talk about, y'all. Don't, don't, and don't, don't block yourself from meeting somebody good because you're telling them what you're not going to take, what you're not going to do. In a relationship, there's going to be things that you're going to have to put up with. I mean, you don't have to, if you don't want to be in a relationship, but if you want that relationship and you want that person there would be a few things that you would have to put up with. Now, the things that you have to put up with doesn't have to be disrespectful to you. You know, they don't have to be, you know, uh, crushing to you. You know what I'm saying? It might be little things, but we can't be so picky and choosy like the person we going to meet ain't going to have no flaws. That's a damn lie. And anybody you meet is going to have some flaws. It's about how you... Work on them with that person. And man, look, man, it's your guy. Probably yourself or die, man. Let me know what y'all think about the subject I was just talking about. Peace, power, respect.